a few weeks ago I was here in my town and I was at this public place and there were these people who are near me who are talking you know and and they started having a conversation among themselves about and the conversation started to drift towards dressing you know and one of the people and I don't know these people like I just met them while at that place so one of these people made a comment to me and said you know last week I was talking to some ladies about the importance of dressing modestly and I gave you as an example and that really took me by surprise because I don't know this person I, I don't know these people you know like I just met them there so I I was shocked that this person was saying that they were giving me as an example to somebody or to some people whom they were telling about modesty and I was shocked and I said but how come I don't know you like do you know me you know and the person said yes I know you you know and then I realized that the very fact that you're different from everybody else who's around you people are going to notice you and people are going to know there is a difference like as human beings we love to blend in like we love to be just like one of everybody else like we don't like to stand out but the thing is like when we truly begin to follow Jesus Christ we are going to stand out because our faith is going to show even on the outside it's not just going to be in the heart but it's going to be shown even outside and that is what's going to make us to become a light you know how is the how is a christian going to become a light of the world if their christianity is all about the heart is the world going to see your heart the world cannot see your heart but the world is able to see what is on the outside that is also supposed to represent jesus christ like these people whom i i don't even know and yet i realized after that conversation that they had noticed me because i was different from everybody else who's around me and no wonder they were able to give somebody an example to say, oh, there's this lady who's this and this and that. You know, it, it's important for women to dress modestly. And these are people whom I don't know. So it made me to realize that with our actions and with the things that we do, we preach to so many people, even without opening our mouths, even without saying a single word. If you decide to begin to obey Jesus completely, then you are going to stand out, you're going to be different. And that is a good thing because it's going to become a testimony to so many people whom you don't even know and yet they will know you and yet they will notice you because you are not like everybody else because there's something that is different about you. I remember a few years ago and I had to attend this event at work and there were different people who were there. Like somebody asked me and said, you look like somebody who takes Christianity so seriously. And I said, yeah, I do take Christianity seriously, you know, but I was like, but what makes you to say that? And then the person said that just by looking at you, like that's the thought that it gave me, you know, and sometimes this is the very thing that Christians don't want, you know, like they don't want people to think that they are too much into, you know, like they're too spiritual or too religious for, uh, for lack of other words, you know. So they want to look like the world, you know, they don't want to look too much like a Christian, like they want to, to you know, like they, they want, they don't want it to be obvious. They want to look like the people who are of the world and yet they want to partake of the things of God, like they are praying and they are doing all these things, but they also want to be able to fit in and to be up to date with all the things of the world. And it doesn't work like that, you know, because Jesus says that we are the light of the world. So I have realized that as long as you follow Jesus, you are going to stand out and it's a good thing and it's a, it's a good testimony. It's a big testimony that it gives to the world, that it gives to the people of the world. People are noticing you, they are noticing the difference. They may not be saying it, they may not be telling you, but there are so many people whom you are preaching to just by your lifestyle, 
and also by the way that you dress, by the things that are portrayed on the outside and by your character, people are going to notice and they're going to know that it's because of Jesus Christ. You know, so the question is when people look at us, can they know that we are children of God or can they mistake us for the people of the world? We are preaching to so many people who can see a difference. They can see that there is something that is different about you. That there's just something that, that makes you to stand out from everybody else. Like the other time there was this woman whom I didn't even know. You know, she's a trader at a market. And then one time when I was at the market, she made a comment and then she told me that, I haven't seen you in a long time. Then I was surprised and I said, do you know me? And she said, oh, I, I know you because I love how you dress. She said, I know you because I love how you dress because it's just so different. I always tell my friends that look at the way that lady dresses. Like she always wears these modest clothes. And that's why I noticed. And that's what made me to notice you. And that's what made me to notice that I haven't seen you in a long time. And this is somebody whom I don't know. And yet she could see a difference, you know, like Jesus Christ is calling us to shine the light in the darkness. He says no one lights a candle and then hides it under a basket. But we are supposed to be a light. It's supposed to be obvious that you are a Christian. Just by people looking at how you dress, it's supposed to be obvious that you are a Christian. That is why you are not following all the fashions of the world. That is why you're ignoring all the worldly trends because you're not governed by all the worldly trends and all the worldly changes in all these trends that come and go, like they don't even affect you. It's supposed to be obvious that you're a Christian. When people listen to your conversation, it's supposed to be obvious that there is something that is different just by encountering so many people whom I don't even know and yet you discover that they know you just because you're different from everybody else. It shows us that truly like our lives, like when we stand out, when we don't blend in with the world, we are going to become a witness for Jesus Christ even without us saying a single word, even without us speaking just by being different you're shining the light of jesus christ and people are going to know that there is something that is different and people are going to be drawn to the light they are going to know that this is how a christian is supposed to dress they are going to know that this is how a christian is supposed to live this is how a christian is supposed to speak so the lord has not called us to hide our light but jesus christ has called us to shine our light and put it out in the open where everybody is going to know. Just by looking at us, people are going to know that we are children of God. Just by listening to us speaking, people are going to know that we're children of God because our speech is clean, because our speech does not have dirty talk and it doesn't have dirty jokes, because our actions are straight and honest. People are going to know that we are not of the world, but that Jesus Christ has called us out of the world and they're going to want that light that we carry. And, and you don't know how many people that the Lord is impacting just by looking at you being different from the world, not blending in with the world. You don't know how many people you are preaching to. And by you being a Christian and blending in with the world by the way that you dress, starting to dress immodestly by your speech, you know, you don't know how many people you are actually affecting and harming, you know, how many baby Christians, how many immature Christians who are looking up to you because they know that you are a Christian, because you talk about Jesus, because you have said you are a Christian and they look at you and they see you dressing like the word and then they begin to think oh there's nothing wrong let me also do what this person is doing and they see you talking like the word and then they say oh 
which means it's okay for me to do this, you know, and they start to copy. So you're going to find that not only are you not entering the kingdom of heaven, but you're also blocking so many other people from entering it because they're learning from you, because you're giving them a bad example. But Jesus Christ has called us to be a light of the world. And this is just an encouragement to all of us that no matter where you are, no matter which part of the world that you're in, you need to become a light. Don't blend in. God's children must stand out here on the, in the world. The children of God must stand out the same way that foreigners stand out in a foreign country. The children of God must stand out in this foreign kingdom because they are not of the world but they belong to the kingdom of heaven.